All right. So the last thing you talked about uh, was the Goldwater rule. Been around for almost 50 years, right? Uh, yeah, I'm 59. That sounds about right. Yeah. And it's been around as a result of a presidential election that you referenced. Yes. And who has that rule? What organization uh, maintains that rule? The American Psychiatric Association. Uh, an association you're a member of? Associated not a member of, yes. Aren't you a fellow or something? Yes, I am. Okay. So, and this is an ethical rule, right? It is an ethical rule. And yes, it's ethical. They say rules. It's an ethical guideline. Yes, they're guidelines. Mm -hmm. And you know that over time, the American Psychiatric Association has amended the rule. So it's not just about diagnoses, but it's also about professional opinions. Could you be more specific, say, about professional opinion in regard to what? Well, let me... Let me read this and see if you're familiar with it. It is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion about an individual based on publicly available information without conducting an examination. That's the rule, right? If you're reading it directly, I will believe you. However, a diagnosis is not required for an opinion to be professional. So my question is, it's not just diagnosis that this Goldwater rule applies to, it's professional opinions. So again, I, I will reiterate that that would come down to essentially nullifying witness testimony, expert witness testimony, without a direct evaluation. If that was the case, there could be no expert witness testimony in the courtroom. Psychiatrists are ethically prohibited from evaluating individuals without, permi without permission or other authorization, such as a court order. That's the rule, right? Again, if you're reading that, then I have to believe you're not misrepresenting it. And I would come back to, again, then this whole thing on effort, we might as well get rid of all the expert witnesses we've had throughout all of time for court proceedings. Because what you're saying is unless a court orders it, and that's what you just said, or the APA said, then therefore expert witnesses cannot do an evaluation based on an observation of the medical records. Insurance companies cannot do evaluations solely based on the medical records where their doctors rendering professional opinions. So at the end of the day, you are essentially saying that unless someone has directly evaluated it, this whole medical system we have, this whole legal system we have is null and void. Uh, I, I'm not saying- No, yes you are, sir. I, no, you are. Give me, a, give me a second. Did you agree in your deposition that the, the professional opinions you, you rendered were um, inconsistent with the Goldwater rule? Yeah. My first is inconsistent. If we're saying that I, if the Goldwater rule says, and I very much said that during the deposition, that the Goldwater rule was made for presidents and public figures such as that, but regardless of that, because that's what it was made for, it's not made for Hollywood, but I'll even take that, Mr. Depp's a public figure. What I'm saying to you is that the Goldwater rules say we cannot do any expert witness testimony in our field. That is exactly what the Goldwater rule is saying based on exactly what you read. And I'm just telling you what you are saying that rule encompasses. What I'm asking you, sir, is did you comply with the ethical requirements of the APA when, when rendering the professional opinions that you've rendered today. It is a, it is a requirement of the APA. It is not the requirement of the APA. Secondarily, so the again, answer is no. secondarily, 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 again, in order to not, you, we, we waste our whole morning because of an expert witness before me. There's an expert witnesses everyone brought in. So all I'm saying to you, that means the whole field of medical legal law is corrupt and unethical for engaging in an act that the APA clearly says we should not do. So if you're saying that, then the answer is yes, I'm agreeing with that statement. You're agreeing that the APA would deem your t testimony and your professional opinions rendered unethical. I, again. I am saying, you are saying that the whole, I'm an expert witness. I am saying as an expert witness, 
and solely as an expert witness, the, that guideline is permitting that from occurring. I would say then that the whole field of expert witness testimony, again, would be disavowed by what you are quoting in the gold order. And we know that's not the case, because if it was, we would not be allowed to do it. And you said the rule was for presidents, right? And that was initially figures. for presidents, yes. But, and the name of the rule came from that. But the rule says it is unethical for a psychiatrist to offer a professional opinion about an individual. That's right, sir. It's not just presidents, it's not public figures, it's individuals. Funny, it was named after the... According to your logic, if you don't put something in the title, it's not true. That's what you told me this morning, I believe, about my intimate partner violence. So what I would say to you then, sir, is that if you say this about an individual, again, any court would have to render an expert witness testimony invalid. Any doctor that reviews charts would have to render it invalid. I can go on the list of docs that do not see or interview patients directly, and that's a violation. So basically, you are saying that unless you do a direct clinical evaluation, then all of the field of forensic psychiatry and all of uh, managed care is doing an unethical violation because we are not seeing the presence. We deny patients medications all the time without seeing them. We deny patients treatments, unfortunately, without seeing them. And I'm on the receiving end of that. So the answer to your question, again, unless you were saying to me that all of this is unethical, which is what you are saying. This is what you are, this is how I'm interpreting what you are saying to me. That unless you do the evaluation directly yourself, therefore, it could not be considered ethical. And I'm telling you how that applicable to not just expert law, but also managed care, it applicable to multiple brands of medicine. Hospital, duration of hospitalization stay to get evaluated. So, Tell me, tell me where you want me to end this.